Alpha Centauri is one of the most famous stars, known for being the closest star to the solar system and the third brightest in our night sky. It is easy to locate. It lies to the left of the well-known Southern Cross constellation within the Centaurus constellation, and is also called Rigel Centaurus, which in Arabic means the centaur's foot. Alpha Centauri looks like a single bright point in the sky, but it is actually a triple star system, including known planets in orbit. Let's get to know the system. The universe is so vast that even our closest neighboring star is 40 trillion kilometers away from Earth. With our current technology, it would take us 75,000 years to make the journey. In astronomical terms, it is common to use light years as a unit of measurement. A light year is the distance that light travels in a vacuum over the course of one year. Alpha Centauri is located 4.3 light years from Earth, meaning that light takes just over four years to travel from this neighboring star to us. Despite the challenge of distance, Alpha Centauri is considered the most likely first target for interstellar exploration, whether by humans or robotic missions, as it is the closest planetary system to our own. As we complete our exploration of the solar system and properly care for our planet, the worlds of other stars will undoubtedly be the next steps. Alpha Centauri A and B form a binary star system. To the naked eye from Earth, they appear as a single star. Due to their proximity and similarity to the Sun, the parameters of this binary system are among the most well-studied. Alpha Centauri is a frequent target for research on stellar physics and extrasolar planets. Alpha Centauri A is the primary star of the binary system and is very similar to the Sun in size, mass, temperature, and luminosity. Alpha Centauri A is 1.7 million kilometers in diameter and has a surface temperature of 5,580 degrees Celsius. Currently, no planets have been detected orbiting the Alpha Centauri system. Alpha Centauri B is an orange dwarf, slightly smaller than the Sun, cooler, less massive, and with half its luminosity. Alpha Centauri B is 1.2 million kilometers in diameter and has a surface temperature of 4,970 degrees Celsius. The stars in the binary system share a similar composition, and the system itself is around 7 billion years old, 2 billion years older than the solar system. Alpha Centauri A and B are separated by an average distance of 3.5 billion kilometers, or 27 astronomical units, nearly three times the distance between the Sun and Saturn. They complete one orbit around their shared gravitational center approximately every 79 years. The third star in the Alpha Centauri system is located far from the binary system. Alpha Centauri C, more commonly known as Proxima Centauri, is the closest star to the Sun, but it is not bright enough to be seen with the naked eye. Proxima Centauri also shares an orbit with the binary system, but it is located about 2 trillion kilometers away. This distance is so great that its orbital period is approximately 550,000 years.
Proxima Centauri is a small red dwarf star, significantly smaller and less massive than the Sun. It is over 20,000 times less bright and about 50% cooler than our star. Proxima Centauri is 214,000 kilometers in diameter and has a surface temperature of 2,270 degrees Celsius. Small red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri exert little gravitational pressure on their cores and consume their hydrogen atoms very slowly. Many of these stars are expected to live for about 10 trillion years. In comparison, stars like our Sun live for approximately 10 billion years, 1,000 times less. Planets orbiting these small stars have incredible potential for the evolution of life, as they can receive energy from their host stars for trillions of years. In 2016, 2019, and most recently in 2020, three rocky planets were discovered orbiting Proxima Centauri. These planets, named Proxima b, Proxima d, and Proxima c, have solid, rocky surfaces similar to Earth. There are various techniques for detecting exoplanets, such as astrometry, gravitational microlensing, polarimetry, transit method, and radial velocity. Proxima b, c, and d were discovered using the radial velocity method, which measures small changes in the star's velocity as the star and planet move around the same gravitational center. The orbiting planet causes the star to oscillate slightly in space, altering the color of the light observed by telescopes. Proxima C, discovered in 2019, is a frozen, arid planet with eight times the mass of Earth and a diameter of about 25,000 kilometers. Its atmosphere is composed of nitrogen, neon, and helium gases with very low density. Atmospheric pressure is a thousand times lower than Earth's, and temperatures reach a chilling minus 227 degrees Celsius. Proxima C rotates on its axis faster than Earth, with a day lasting only 11 hours and 25 minutes. Its orbital period around Proxima Centauri is about five Earth years. Proxima C is located 220 million kilometers from its star, 70 million kilometers farther than Earth is from the Sun. Proxima B is located just 8 million kilometers from its star, nearly 10 times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. Despite this proximity, the size, luminosity, and temperature of Proxima Centauri place Proxima b at an ideal distance for maintaining liquid water on its surface. Proxima b has a diameter of approximately 17,000 kilometers, making it 30% larger than Earth and is about 45% more massive than our planet. discovered in 2016 using the radial velocity method, it is considered the most Earth-like exoplanet yet found. Its location in the habitable zone raises the possibility of water on its surface, which could support life as we know it. Proxima b's orbit is tidally locked to its star, meaning one side of the planet always faces the star in perpetual daylight, while the other side is in eternal darkness. Its atmosphere is also thin and composed mainly of carbon dioxide, sulfur, nitrogen, and hydrogen gases. The average temperature on Proxima b is about minus 43 degrees Celsius.
Finally, the most recently discovered planet orbiting Proxima Centauri is called Proxima D. It is the closest planet to the star, located just 4 million kilometers away, less than one-tenth the distance between Mercury and the Sun. Proxima d is also the nearest potentially habitable exoplanet to Earth. Like Proxima b, this planet's rotation is synchronized with its orbit, meaning one side is always in daylight while the other is in constant night. In the twilight zone, where day and night meet, conditions might be ideal for human habitation. Many details about Proxima d's atmosphere and surface remain uncertain, but this planet holds great promise for the possibility of life. Its skies might look surprisingly similar to ours, and its surface could be astonishingly Earth-like. With a dense atmosphere, temperatures on Proxima d can reach 36 degrees Celsius, comparable to equatorial regions on Earth. The ingredients necessary for life might also be present on this planet. What could we find beneath its waters? Let's land here for a while. The gravity on Proxima d is only 55% of Earth's, making walking and jumping much easier. A person weighing 70 kilograms on Earth would feel as if they weighed about 38 kilograms on Proxima d. In the nighttime sky of Proxima d, potential inhabitants might look at our star and wonder if there are planets orbiting it. From Proxima d, the sun would appear as just another bright point of light, much like the stars we see in our sky. Its slight prominence, due to its relative proximity, might make it stand out. If there is a technological civilization on Proxima d, it might have identified the planets in the solar system and considered the possibility that some of them lie within the habitable zone of their star. Perhaps civilizations on Proxima d have found the small planets closest to their star, including Earth, and are now wondering if life exists on these worlds. Or maybe the inhabitants of Proxima d with advanced technology are currently observing the lights of our cities, emitted from Earth four years ago. For the observers on Proxima d, we are the aliens. Around 70% of the stars in the galaxy are small red dwarfs. Billions of planetary systems similar to Proxima Centauri are likely scattered across the Milky Way. We are far from detecting even 1% of the planets in our galaxy, but as telescopes and space systems advance, many more worlds may be found. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more journeys into space. Consider supporting the channel by becoming a member 
sending a thanks to help keep these journeys going. Got a destination in mind? Share it in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next flight.